Jerry, I have to say, in all the years that you and I have, have been on television together, this is one of the few, relatively few times I've hear, heard you raise a note of caution. Explain what, what you are saying and why. Sure. I mean, Tyler, as you know, in all these years, we always talk about the risks that everyone is evaluating, analyzing, and trying to hedge against. And rarely do you see geopolitics geopolitics uh, really calculate very discreetly. I mean, if you look at the, what we've done with interest rates in the Fed in the last month, I mean, it was, it was a bunch of expectations that were either met or not met at the time of the Fed uh, discussion. This is a whole different thing. What, what Kelly was just talking about, if there was a cutoff of natural gas to Europe, their economy would be directly affected. You don't hear any, any companies in China or China, in Germany talking about that right now. Uh, we don't, we know the price of oil is high, but we don't know what it would be if we somehow had to dis, uh, displace so much of that uh, production. And it, what it says to me is this is a potential worry. And in our portfolios, there's ways to hedge against that without leaving the stock market, which, by the way, is very inexpensive today. Yeah. And so what are those ways to hedge against, uh, take some, get some protection, but still leave, leave room to defend my portfolio and maybe even make a little, make a little money in equities? You've got a couple of choices, I know. Yeah. So start with the things that people are probably most anxious about the big techs, uh, and the little techs for that matter, all of which have come under stress. In our case, we would love the, to go through an experience like this, holding on to the visibility of a Microsoft's earnings and cash flow stream, right? That's the place where we feel the least amount of risk, and we think people would actually gravitate to it if uh, volatility went up. But the other part that would be interesting to us would be to look down uh, valuation and, and look at something like a Ford, who, who's now off 15 20% from its high, but has so much good news coming at the end of this year and next that most people won't worry about Ford's earnings in the next two or three quarters. So look at a 12 multiple stock with all the upside coming 12 months from now, and you have a lot more protection. Again, you won't be worried about the calamity that might come from this type of uh, disruption. And obviously last is, is an EQT, a US natural gas stock. I mean, give me a break. These things are trading at three and four times earnings. They're, they're trading like businesses that will go away in five years. And Europe today with all of the Russian gas still doesn't have enough gas. And we will be in the business of providing incremental gas to Russia for as long as you and I are in this business. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.